Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from Amanda Crochets and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make the chunky basket weave throw. This blanket is very chunky and very soft and cozy which is going to be perfect for the winter season. This blanket measures approximately 34 inches across by 45 inches long. However, you can always change up the sizing of the blanket to match your preference. And you can also change up the color of this blanket as well. You can use a variegated color like I did, or you can always use a solid color to match your home decor. So let's get started on today's tutorial on making the chunky basket weave throw. So for today's tutorial, you're going to need five skeins of the Premier Puzzle Yarn. And this is all that I have left of my fifth skein. And this is a number five bulky weight yarn. And it recommends a US J10 or six millimeter crochet hook. It is machine wash and, and dry. And for this yarn, this is 328 yards or 300 meters. It's seven ounces or 200 grams and it is 100% acrylic. And the color I'm going to be using today is called Riddle. You can use whatever color of this puzzle yarn that you would like, or if you want to substitute and use a different yarn, you just want to make sure to use a number five bulky weight yarn. And I'm going to be bumping up my crochet hook to a size L or eight millimeter, just because we're working with a stitch that requires a lot of texture. Okay, so for our chunky basket weave throw, we're going to need to make a chain that is a multiple of six plus four. So that means you're going to make a multiple that is in the number six, and then you're going to add four more chains to the very end. So six plus six plus six, and then if you're satisfied, add four more chains to the very end. For my basket weave blanket, I ended up making a chain of 94. So you can always change up the sizing of this blanket, like I said, by changing the number of chains that you make. So for my blanket, I made 94 chains. And then for today's sample, I'm just going to be making a chain of 18 plus 4. Okay, so make a chain, you're going to make a slip knot first and then you're going to yarn over your hook and pull through that loop on your hook. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Continue until you have a total of 94 chains or your multiple of six plus four. Okay, so I have my chain of 22, and that is a multiple of 6 plus 4. So once you have your chain, we can begin row 1. You're going to double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. So that loop on your hook does not count. You're going to count 4 chains. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. And in that fourth chain, you're going to make a double crochet. Now those skip stitches, those three skip chains, is going to count as your first double crochet. So to make your double crochet, yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that fourth chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is your double crochet. Now again, you have your skipped chains right here, and that is going to count as your first double crochet. So if you need help, I would suggest getting a stitch marker and putting it in the top of that chain three. So you have one, two, three chains right here, which is just to the right of that stitch that you made. And I would put a stitch marker right here so that way you know where the end of your blanket is. Okay, next we're going to be making a double crochet in each stitch across. So in that very next chain right here, you're going to make a double crochet. So again, yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, 
pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So continue making one double crochet in each of the remaining chains across and I will show you how to start row two. Okay, so here's what row one looks like with all those double crochets and we can begin row two. So for row two, you're gonna chain three, one, two, and three and turn your work. And remember that chain three is going to count as a double crochet. You're going to front post double crochet around the next three stitches. So what I mean by that is you have this stitch right here and this is the post of your stitch and you're going to pop it so it goes forward. So yarn over your hook and instead of going into the top of that stitch you're going to go to the right and underneath the post of the stitch so it's going to pop out a little bit and you're going to finish your double crochet as normal. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that completes your front post double crochet. So we're going to do two more, yarn over your hook, find the post of that next stitch, go from the right to the left with that post sticking on top of your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, one more time, yarn over your hook, insert your hook from right to left going underneath the post of that stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then that way all three of those stitches are in the front of your work. Next we're going to be making three back post double crochets. So in the next three stitches you're going to be working the opposite. So yarn over your hook and this time you're going to go behind from right to left and your crochet hook is going to be on top of the post stitch instead. So here's what the front looks like and if you turn your work this is what the back looks like. And then again continue as normal, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now your stitch is going to be on the back side of your work. Yarn over, find that next post stitch, go from behind right to left with that post behind your crochet hook just like that. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, one more time, yarn over, go from behind with that post behind your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So this is the pattern repeat for the entire row. So you're going to repeat three front post double crochets in the next three stitches. And in the three stitches after that, you're going to be making a back post double crochet. You're going to repeat this all the way across into the last stitch. The last stitch is going to be a regular double crochet. So go ahead and make three front post double crochets, three back post double crochets, and repeat that all the way across your row until the very end. When we get to the very end, I will show you where to put your double crochet and move on to row three. Okay, so I have one more back post double crochet to work. And again, I'm just working around the post of that stitch. 
when you get to the end of your row you're going to have that chain three and you're just going to make a regular double crochet in the top of that chain three so count up one two three chains and insert your hook and make a double crochet okay so now we're going to be getting row three so chain three and turn and row three is going to be the exact same as row two so in the very first three stitches you're going to be working a front post double crochet so you're going to be yarning over your hook you already have a front post double crochet so you're just going to be working around that same stitch and again making the three front post double crochets in the first three stitches Okay, in the next three stitches you're going to be working a back post double crochet so yarn over insert your hook from behind and around that post yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so again row three is going to be exactly like row two and you're just going to make a front post double crochet around the front post stitches and a back post double crochet around the back post stitches repeat that all the way across and then when you get to the end you're going to make one regular double crochet in the top of that chain three okay so I have one chain one stitch remaining so I have one two three chains the top of that chain three I'm going to be making a double crochet so you can already see our pattern forming after just two rows or after three rows so for row four you're going to go ahead and repeat row two again so chain three and turn you're going to make three front post double crochets in the first three stitches and in the next three stitches work three back post double crochets repeat that across and then I will show you how to change up for row five so again row four is exactly the same as row two so repeat row two over again and I will show you how to move on to row five alright so here is what four rows looks like and again you can see the pattern forming a little bit more and it is going to be pretty much the same on both sides of your work so for row five you're going to do a chain three at the beginning and turn your work and this time we're going to be doing the opposite so we're going to work three back post double crochets around the first three stitches so right now we have our front post double crochets now we're going to be doing the opposite and working a back post around those stitches so for the back post you're going to go from behind and right to left with that post stitch behind your crochet hook and then work your double crochet as normal okay so now that you have your three back post in the next three stitches you're going to work a front post so find that back post and pop it forward for the front post now and you're just going to be working one front post around the three back posts from the previous row so two and three so by doing this you're creating that basket weave stitch 
and you're just moving the stitches from the front to the back and then again the back post that is right here you're moving to the front. So repeat this all the way across making a back post around the three front post stitches and a front post around the three back post stitches. When you get to the end you're going to make a double crochet in the top of that chain three. Okay so here's what your row looks like a little bit. As you make more you'll be able to see your basket weave stitch a little bit more but again you're going to be having the front post right here and then you're going to be doing the opposite with the back post. So for row six and seven you're just going to go ahead and repeat row five. So row five you're going to start out with three back post double crochets and then moving on to three front post double crochets. So repeat. So for row seven, six and seven you're going to repeat row five. So go ahead and do that and I will meet up with you and show you how to continue the pattern. Okay so here's what seven rows of your blanket is going to look like so far and again you can see that basket weave forming. You have that nice chunky texture to it. So for this blanket you're just going to repeat rows two through seven for the entire pattern. So rows two, three, and four you're going to be working a front post double crochet around the first three stitches and then a back post double crochet around the next three stitches. And then rows five, six, and seven you're going to be doing the opposite. You're going to start with a back post double crochet and then continue with the front post. So you're going to repeat rows two through seven for a total of 60 rows. If you do want to go beyond 60 rows and make this a little bit longer you are more than welcome to do that. And again if you did want to make this blanket wider you can change up the chain at the very beginning. So go ahead and repeat rows two through seven for the entire pattern for a total of 60 rows. Okay so if you are at the end of your blanket and you would like to add a border you can go ahead and continue this video. If you do not want to add a border you can simply fasten off and weave in all of your ends. So for my border I'm just going to be doing something very simple. So I just went ahead and chained one and in that very first corner stitch I'm going to be making a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So to make a single crochet you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and then that's your single crochet. So you're going to chain two, one, and two, and in that same corner stitch you're going to make another single crochet. Insert your hook, yarn over, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we're going to be working along the side of our blanket and we're going to be working a single crochet along the sides. So I just did two single crochets per post stitch. So the post stitch is going to be that chain three or that very last double crochet that you made in the row. So I'm just going to work two single crochets around that last stitch right here. And I did that for the length of my blanket, working two single crochets around the post of that last stitch. If you would like to go down a hook size to make your edges a little bit more um, tight you can do that as well. I just wanted to do everything in the same. So when you get to the end you're going to have one more set of the two double crochets and then when you get into that corner you're going to repeat the corner like we did before. 
So you're going to do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all into that same stitch. Now you're going to flip your blanket, so you're going to be working along this, the bottom of your blanket, and you're just going to be working one single crochet in each of the stitches across. Now if it is easier for you, you can just go ahead and go in these little spaces right here. So I'm just going to be doing that and working one single crochet along the bottom. Okay, so you're going to be working one single crochet in each stitch along the bottom. When you get to your next corner, you're going to be working a single crochet, chain two, single crochet all into that corner. For the other side of your blanket, you're going to make two single crochets around the post of that last stitch in each row. The next corner, you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And then along the top of your blanket, you're going to work one single crochet across. So repeat that all the way around for your border, and I will meet up with you and show you how to end your blanket. Okay, so I'm at the beginning where I have my first corner stitch, and I'm just going to go into that very first single crochet, and I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through that loop on my hook, and that creates your slip stitch. And then you're just going to cut a little bit of a tail, and then I just do yarn over, pull through, and then I pull through, and then I tighten. And that is your basket weave throw. So let me get my blanket and show you again what the blanket looks like. And here's a nice close-up of the texture of this stitch. I really like this stitch because I think it's very nice and cozy and warm for the colder winter season and again you can always mix and match the colors to match your home decor or if you're making this for a friend or family member you can use their favorite colors and working with the chunkier yarn you can actually make this blanket a lot faster and it does look intimidating but if you just take your time, you will be able to get your stitches down pretty quickly. So thank you so much for joining me today on learning how to make the chunky basket weave throw. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, happy crocheting! Bye!